Welcome back to another episode here, guys, on Grow the Earth. And today we're going to talk about these row covers. Now, this is actually my second year for using these. And I have to tell you, I'm kind of discouraged by them. Uh, first things first, these you'll see, a lot of people advertise these as garden fabric, uh, you know, row covers, quite a few different things. And you will see in the descriptions that they tell you that these are permeable and that water will run through them. I'm going to tell you that that is an absolute and utter lie. And if you want to have the ability to, to water your soil through these things, you're going to have to perforate them. I actually made a tool that was basically a, uh, a perforating tool for wallpaper. Or uh, if you're using, uh, if you're trying to take wallpaper off and you need to get, you get chemical stripper in behind it, it has little holes that perforate into the wallpaper and let the chemical stripper leach in behind it. Well, I took one of those tools and I sharpened the tines and I actually put it on a longer handle and that's what I perforated these with, which works out really well for letting the water through and all that nice stuff. Uh, last year, I actually had some black. Now, we had a bad experience with the black stuff because down here in Texas, whenever it gets to be 100, 102, 105, depending on the day, that black just absorbed the heat, soaked it in, and we actually, I, we physically had cracks in the soil underneath, even though I was watering every day because that black plastic was just boiling the water out. Now, on the, the flip side of that, the black plastic worked wonderful for keeping down the weeds. So this year, we decided to use white because I found some white on, on, the, on Amazon. But I'm going to tell you what, this was a good idea. We figured the, the white would reflect the sun. It would keep our ground cooler, keep the moisture in. Uh, and it's probably, it seems to be doing all those things. But the thing that it is also doing is, is it's allowing sunlight through this row cover. And, um, well, let's just say it's doing really well at growing the weeds that were underneath that it's supposed to suppress. I'm going to bring you guys in closer and I'm going to pull back this little bit right here. I'm going to show you what I mean. So here's our white row cover. Let me take out my little stake here. And as you can see, this just wonderfully throws weeds underneath it. They're all nice and moist. They're, they're just, it's just great. It's a perfect environment for growing weeds. Now, I don't see this as much of a problem because once we have done this, we have pulled these weeds. Well, there shouldn't be any more weeds because they have all germinated and they've all grown. So this should, we should only have to do this one time. But when you're expecting there not to be any weeds grown underneath these, and there's a lot, well, it's kind of a surprise. So this begs the question, would I have been better just having these this bed open? That's a good question. I don't have an answer for it. I know that the bed behind me that is open, that you know we have pulled some, some weeds out of, but it hasn't been horrible. But it seems that these have made this stuff germinate just incredibly well. I'm actually considering it for some other projects because of how well it grew things, even that were underneath it, that it was supposed to smother. But this brings up something that we should all do in our gardens, and that is try new things. Would I have known that this would have happened had I not done it? Absolutely not. Because nobody's going to tell you this. You know, this is something you've got to experience for yourself, or you've got to have somebody else who's experienced and is willing to, to share that with you so that you can, you know, learn from their mistakes. Now, I don't foresee this as a mistake. I see this as a learning, a learning time and something that we can possibly use later on. You know, uh, 
I'm actually going to repurpose the black uh, stuff that we had last year, and that is probably going to go in between our rows to suppress the weeds where we're not going to be watering anyway. So who cares if the, the ground cracks underneath it, right? Whereas with this, I'm not for sure if I'm going to use this again. Uh, once I go through and pull the weeds out from underneath them, if they stay gone after that, then I say it's a win-win because I've only got to pull weeds once, right? So in all things, you, you need to, to try new things because you're never going to learn, you're never going to grow as a gardener if you grow the same old things all the time. Yes, we always have our fallbacks, our stuff that we know that we grow well, we know that does well in our garden, uh, but you need to kind of get out of your comfort zone and try and, and use some things that maybe you haven't done before. That way you can, you know, increase your experience as a gardener. So just a quick tip for you guys, something that you guys can put in uh, your memory bank and think about, and maybe you might want to try this, maybe you might not. But in all ways, I want you to know that I'm here to share my experiences with you and to share a little bit of knowledge, and I hope that you guys appreciate that. As always, like and subscribe, and have a great day.